What's up? Lately, with the oversaturation of superhero films, shows, merchandise, short films, fan films, essays, deconstructions, love letters, and analysis, it's hard to love movies. It's hard to go to the movie theater with a friend, with a lover, with a family member, and enjoy a movie. It's hard to love a movie. And every year, it gets more and more difficult to find that love and enjoyment when all we're getting is soulless, self-absorbed sludge. And of course, there are other movies that aren't superhero movies, but so many are just cash grabs with big celebrity names, sequels, reboots, reimaginings of movies we love, or should I say loved. And not to say that there aren't good movies I still love, but when shit like Morbius and Lightyear are still being made, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. It wasn't until I started watching The Greats when I realized I don't have to hate movies. I began watching classic after classic after classic. Movies that are praised by thousands. Movies I say are important to me. American Psycho, Inglorious Bastards, Jojo Rabbit, The Godfather, and look who's back. A comedy, a tragedy, a joke, a commentary, full of love, full of hate, full of passion. I loved Look Who's Back. But how could this be a great movie when it seems to be actively making a joke out of tragedies? Tragedies that affected minorities, children, adults, tragedies that even echo to today, where those tragedies become stories that will pass down from grandfather to son to son to grandson. But that's the point. The point it is trying to make is that this isn't funny. You aren't supposed to be laughing, you aren't supposed to be agreeing with what he is saying. Yet because it's portrayed like a joke, like satire, it's okay. Who's back isn't trying to make fun of what Adolf Hitler did. It's not trying to make light of it. It's a warning. A warning that if we don't pay attention to what we watch, to what we listen to, to what we follow, this could happen again. There are people who still think like this, who still believe in this. And that's what makes this horrifying. Look Who's Back utilizes having real people, real human beings, react to the actor dressed up as Adolf Hitler roaming around Germany. And people laugh, they took photos, all because it was satire. There were parts where real people were agreeing with the actor as he pretended to be this monster. It isn't until the end of the movie where somebody finally started paying attention. And this is what Look Who's Back does perfectly. It isn't a comedy. It's not funny. It's a warning. A warning to pay attention, to educate yourself, to educate others to not fall for this again. Because even when who that person truly is, is shown to the whole world. It takes one lie, one empty promise, one publicity stunt for them to be loved again. So please, be careful. Stay safe out there. This is the uh, non-scripted part of the video as the credits roll here with a bunch of names of the people that I want to thank. Um, so if you see your name there, uh, congratulations. I hope you all enjoyed this pretentious rant. I really want to do more videos like this where I can just put my heart out there and let you guys listen. And by, I don't expect this video to do well for, this is a, such a niche movie that I don't expect it to do well, but if it magically does, if it gets thousands or millions of views and I get hate for something, for something I said about Anything in this video, I don't care. It just, I said what I wanted to say. And that's really all that matters because it, I liked it. This is important to me. And I'm no longer allowing numbers, subscribers, views, likes to dictate what I do anymore. So yeah, have a good day.